Well, so what we know is that at 11:30, uh, the police have, uh, you know, the the, the, the police. Uh, made a statement regarding an armed robbery on Front Street at the Gem Cellar. Uh, so we know that. We know that uh, they've released uh, images uh, from CCTV footage. And uh, in between now and then, we have, uh, you know, had a scheduled tour of the CCTV uh, facilities inside here, which I think was uh, most appropriate to comment on now because we're looking at how something act actually happened today um, was impacted by CCTV. Now, I know that the police, without uh, commenting too much on what they're doing, um, are actively following forensic leads based solely on this, uh, the CCTV uh, footage, not just from the store, but from, from outside of the store as well. You know, you have to keep this in a perspective. Uh, this was uh, uh, done on Front Street, middle of the, uh, the day, 11:30, uh, in one of the most densely populated areas regarding cameras. So, you know, we have a tremendous amount of forensic uh, footage and evidence to comb through. We will do so, uh, and the police will again, uh, I believe. Um, uh, bring these men to justice and that's really what the the point is that's why we're using these tools uh, in the toolbox but again the public has to continue to uh, reject this type of behavior as a government we of course do that we, we, we don't think there's any excuse for this type of behavior um, and as a community we have to come together and you know remind ourselves that who's being impacted by this it's the small business owners it's the Bermudians who are opening up these shops and if we look back at the last uh, series of robberies that we've had as tragic as they are the Bermudian business owner is being impacted the most. And it's just simply not acceptable for any business, of course, to be robbed. But it even hurts more so when you have these small entrepreneurs who are trying to go and make a dollar and, and provide a service for Bermuda. And, you know, a, 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 a criminal goes in and takes advantage of that. So, you know, we're doing all we can to make sure that we fill those gaps as far as the security goes in a public safety perspective. And again, advising with the help of the police, each of these businesses and how they can improve uh, their own security for their own premises. With the recent reports, uh, including today, is it a reflection of where the country is today? I don't think so. I, again, when we look at, uh, you know, if we're looking at a snapshot of where we are in the last couple of months, you can certainly see there has been an uptick in robbery, which has caused a reaction. The police are dealing with this um, as a priority now uh, because they are intelligence led, of course, and the government is really taking, the Ministry of National Security has taken a really good look at this as well. But when you scan back a little bit, you open the aperture, when you look at a bigger timeline, you could still see the trends. Uh, they're very low when compared to 2010, 2011, and 12. You know, they're, they're, the trends are were uh, for robbery quite high 2010 there were 100 robberies so we're nowhere near that figure and that's not me uh, being sanctimonious here it's just again providing some perspective to uh, a community that feels like you know uh, they're a bit rocked so thank you